So, today in this video we are going to discuss about the tangent plane normal to the level surface. So, let us take a level surface like this. So, this is basically a scalar function phi of x y z is equals to c this. Let us say this is the surface. Now, we want to find a tangent plane normal to this level surface. So, consider a point P having coordinate x y z. So, if you draw a tangent like this, then you know the value of grad phi, this grad phi will be directed perpendicular to this point. So, this basically denotes grad phi evaluated at x, y and z. You can vary the point instead of this, the point may be some other points depending on the coordinates of x, y, z and you can draw grad phi there. Now, you have to find out if the equation of the plane. So, this is the tangent. Now, the plane will contain this tangent. So, this is the tangent plane that you have to find out. What will be the equation of this tangent plane? So, to find out the equation of the tangent plane, what we are doing? We are taking a point on the plane. Let us say that is Q and its coordinate is given by a capital X, capital Y and capital Z. You know that grad phi is directed in a perpendicular direction to this tangent. So, this angle is 90 degree that we know. Now, this point Q is lying on the plane and this plane is making an angle 90 degree with the direction of grad phi. So, the angle between P Q and this direction will also be 90 degree. So, mathematically speaking, we can write grad phi evaluated at x y z dot P Q this is equals to 0 because the angle between these two vectors is 90 degree and you know cos uh, dot product between two vectors whose angle is 90 degree it is equals to 0 because cos 90 is equals to 0. Now, what is grad phi evaluated at x y z? So, let us evaluate it here grad phi is equals to del phi by del x i cap plus del phi by del y z cap del phi by del z k cap. This is uh, evaluated at the common x y z. So, this will be value remains same. Now, what is P q? We can use our coordinate geometry to get the value of P q. P q is a vector. So, it is x minus x i cap capital Y minus a small y j cap plus capital Z minus small z k cap. This will be the value of this vector P q. Now, the dot product is 0. So, we can utilize that uh, x minus x del phi upon del x plus y minus y del phi upon del y plus z minus z del phi upon del z is equal to 0. So, this is the desired equation of this tangent phase. So, in this way you can calculate this. I hope you have understood each and every step. If you have any query or confusion regarding this derivation, you can let me know in the comment section. I will try my best to help you out. This is all for this video. Thank you very much. See you guys in the next video. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe the channel and do not forget to press the bell icon. Thank you. An Academy is India's largest online teaching learning platform. You can prepare for various competitive exams like CSR, NET, GET, GEST, IIT JAM, TFR. Especially if you are preparing for CSR, NET, Physical Science, you can join me on An Academy Plus. I cover all the nine units of CSR, NET, Physical Science syllabus. My approach is especially I precisely give you the concept of the concerned topic. Then I discuss the relevant mathematical formula and do the analysis. Relevant problem based on the topic, including previous year questions, are discussed. Homework and assignments are also given. This is my profile and if you want to join my Anacademy Plus process, you can enroll for this course. And if you are new to this Anacademy uh, platform, you can take Anacademy Plus subscription using our referral code FelixR and Anacademy will give you 10% off. So take the Anacademy Plus subscription today and put your feet one step ahead towards reaching your goal. Thank you.